Loon Press Flash Fiction Echoes by Lee Sheridan Do you mind if I change the channel, Nana? She regards me with half-peeled eyes before glancing at her watch. Quarter past six, love. Her answer is something of an improvement. Her custom is to just smile at me. Grandad dropped dead at 22 stone last week. A man who she had been married to for 50 years. They say the best way for a woman to get over a man is to get under one. But I disagree. It would seem that senility is more effective. In her mind, Grandad is only out to grab some milk. He better get the low fat, she says. He never gets the low fat. There's no point trying to convince her that he's dead, so I play along. He doesn't like the low-fat Nana. She knits her brow at me. Well, at 22 stone he'd want to. Grandad, a limerick man of the rotund variety, had a serious aversion towards low-fat milk, or water, as he called it. Making tea in his company was an ordeal that only a stoic individual could bear. That's not that water, sure it's not. It's not that water, Grandad. Are you sure, boy? I'm sure. Don't take that tone with me, boy. If I'm vexing you, then stick your head into the fridge. You can cool off in there. He'd always look serious until I handed him the tea. Then a smile would sprout across his face. I sit now, waiting for the kettle to boil. Across from me is an empty chair. A vacant space filled with the echoes of a ghost. I imagine him there with his old round head and a single tear trails down my cheek. In the next room, Nana starts singing along to the telly.